Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your Cinema 4D files into Unreal Engine. So around midway through this year, Cinema 4D announced a new Datasmith plugin available free of charge with the Unreal Studio Beta. Um, this means that you can now import directly into Unreal Engine with support for scene hierarchies, geometry materials, lights, cameras and baked animations. Um, so the minimum requirements is 4.23.1 in the Unreal Engine version um, and with that will come the Unreal Datasmith. If it's not for whatever installed, just click on the Install to Engine. Now inside Cinema, the minimum requirement is R20. Today I'm sitting in R21, so that's okay, but either of those options is fine. Nothing below R20. Um, I'm just gonna give you an example today, very simply of how to create a little MoGraph animation and a little Dynamics tag animation and how to import them into Unreal. Um, the great thing is that with this new Datasmith connection, it natively allows for MoGraph animations to go in with a bake. Um, Dynamics tags are not specifically supported, but there is a way to bring them in by converting the actual animation into keyframes. So I'm just going to grab a cloner and chuck that on the cube. Um, just going to make it a little circle, I think we'll get a few more squares going on there, about six I reckon. And then I'm going to make it radial and chuck it on the floor and just spread it out a bit more. So with this I'm just going to put a little spin on it just so that there's a bit of movement and so it's clear when we bring it into, um, into Unreal what it's meant to look like. Cool. There we go, a little spin. Alright, with that we are going to grab the plane, put it down there. The cloner here, we're going to grab, um, I'm going to show you how to bake it. So we're going to put a MoGraph cache on there, click bake. It was really quick because we haven't got much going on in the scene. Um, now when you export, you've got that green little box there and you just want to hit save for Cineware if that's all you're doing. Um, I'm going to show you now how to bake a dynamics tag. So we're going to click cloner. Um, as you can see, we need to put a soft body on the cube and a rigid, oh no, collider body on the plane so that when they obviously collide they're gonna squish there. Um, we need to actually delete the bake tag off the cloner otherwise nothing else that you do to it will actually affect it. So there we go we've got a simple drop there. Not doing much, it's not spinning anymore because it doesn't have much time to do it but we're just gonna hit C to make that editable and then now we have the individual cubes rather than the cloner. We're gonna go to the animate window with them all selected you want to go to the functions tab and click bake objects. Click all parameters. After that you've got all these keyframes. So then we're going to go back into startup mode and select all the copy cubes which are the ones with our new keyframes on them because as you can see the old ones still have the soft body tag on them whereas these new ones are just keyframed cubes. There you go. So I'm going to chuck these other guys off because we don't need them anymore. The plane is now redundant because the keyframed guys don't need the simulation tag anymore. So there, they just drop down and hit our invisible floor because before it was animated with the plane. Now it just drops because of the keyframes. Now because of that we can just save and Unreal will read those um, keyframes rather than the dynamics tag. So that is the workaround for dynamics. Um, with the cloner now, you don't need that or the plane because you've got the keyframes as mentioned. And now I'm just going to go back and redo the cloner on this cube just so that we have MoGraph going and some sim simulation tags um, as our examples. There we go, check it up a bit more, spread it out and just do that spin again from before. Check it around frame 60, and go 180. There we go, so now we've got our MoGraph animation spinning with the cloner and the cube, and then we also have 
our keyframed other cubes. It's going to hit bake again with that MoGraph cache found in the MoGraph tags when you right click. Um, so now that we've got that, very simple. Pull that up a bit just so it drops above. Cool. Now we're going to go and save for Cineware. I'm just going to chuck that in my folder that I've been using for all these tests. Another good point is don't forget to save your original if you need to go back and change, otherwise it's going to be a pain. Alright, so now we're going to jump into Unreal, the 4.23.1 version. We're going to go to blank. Usually for other things you would use Blueprint um, for mobile games, but today we're just using blank. So I'm just going to save this with the rest of my stuff. Always keep a save. I'm just going to name this probably tutorial. Don't forget that Unreal does not support spaces. Always use your underscores. So now in Unreal, we are here. This is the inside of Unreal. Um, first things first, I am just going to make a new folder in the content browser. As you usually would when coming into Unreal, you need to make a folder for all your materials and stuff. Um, when you import your file, it'll automatically do that for you. So I'm just going to make a cinema folder. This is the magic button, the Datasmith button. So click on that little button to the right and then Cinema 4D. Find your file. Slowly but surely. There we go. Open that up. Just click on the cinema folder that you made to put it in there. Uh, leave these all selected if you need them. You might not have cameras or lights, but I just keep them all ticked. Now, this is your scene. I'm going to delete the floor that Unreal makes. Uh, have a look around. Looking very beautiful, very simple, but that's okay. To see your animation, go double click an animation and then the little play folder. The sequencer will open and then you can hit play. And there you go. That is how you play back your animation inside of Unreal. So just to go over that, you're going to go into your content browser, click animation, and then the little play button in there of the little file. And it will open the sequencer, and then you can just drag it down to the spot. Yeah, cool. So that is how to get your Cinema 4D files into Unreal. Thanks for watching.